everybody. Today we're at Disney's Wilderness Lodge Resort here at Walt Disney World. One of the things you can do at Disney World without a park ticket is visit their beautiful resorts. And in my opinion, Wilderness Lodge is one of the most beautiful in general and especially during the holidays. And today, Thanksgiving week, they finally put up their grand Christmas tree and decorations. So today we're here to check that out, take a little tour around. I'm also gonna share some interesting facts about Wilderness Lodge, so let's get started. Right outside here in the Porte Cochere where you pull in your car to check in for your stay here, they've added some beautiful wreaths all around the outside. There is trim with festive lights and flowers. There's a lot of excitement in the air about the tree going up. People have been waiting and they're playing holiday music. Listen to this. I'm just gonna go in and show you the tree in silence, but try <gasps> Wow, that music, oh my gosh. Of course all the decorations here are Wilderness Lodge themed, Pacific Northwest, rustic. I'm gonna take you upstairs because I wanna show you the view from up there. When you walk into Wilderness Lodge, you're immediately overtaken with cozy vibes. On this level, there are fireplaces, but I just want to show you the view from up here. From up here, you can get a better look at the five-story tall Christmas tree. It's so beautifully themed. We'll get a closer look too, but you can see the glowing candlelight, the tents and teepees, the animals, the carved ornaments. This whole lobby is stunning. According to Disney, this lobby was made from 85 truckloads of lodge pole pine brought over from Oregon and Montana to give it a more authentic look. Also, one of the main features of the lobby is this 82 foot tall fireplace that is meant to look like the layered rock strata of the Grand Canyon. All right, we're going to go back down and explore. And while we're here, we should definitely have some food and drinks and enjoy this gorgeous, Gorgeous Lodge. And before we start exploring, if you're wondering how you can come out to Wilderness Lodge to see all of this during the holiday season or any other time of year, usually the best way to do that is with a dining reservation and that way you can park here, you can dine, you can enjoy one of the wonderful restaurants and you can explore the resort before or after your dining reservation. A couple other options are you can take a resort boat from Magic Kingdom and you can usually get a resort bus from Disney Springs. You can come here to dine, shop, and enjoy the decorations. Besides the main lobby tree, there are smaller trees all over the resort. You can see moose and chestnuts, wooden carved ornaments. This is like a little fox, I think. I wonder how many little animals we can spot in here. So many. And the lanterns, mini lanterns. The tree is so large that it has to have some extra support. You can see those cables propped up. And there's garland and trim on nearly every floor. A massive wreath on the fireplace. The fireplaces all over the resort are roaring, giving it this cozy, toasty feel. They've added this adorable little pop-up booth with holiday merchandise and also some treats and a special holiday drink. Oh, they've got the cup. These cups have been a hot commodity, I'll tell you what, but you can get it here. And these are the big, like the venti size. Yeah. And here's what they're selling here. Gingerbread, spiced mousse cookies, molasses crackle cookie, peppermint bark. They've got cider, hot chocolate, the cocktail. So it's open daily from two to nine. You can see the drinks in here. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. I decided on the hot cider and the gingerbread cookie and I can't believe it, but I somehow got a seat by the fire. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's really good. It's very apple-y, very sweet, but it's very, very nice. Oh my gosh, it's Mickey! Hi! Hello, Mickey! 
Nikki, you look so dapper today. <laughs> Boop, we got pooped. I can't believe I've never seen you in this lobby. But you know what? It's all beautiful and decorated, so it's appropriate. This is so cool. Mickey Mouse just popped out. They've got a photo pass photographer in front of the tree. There's so much holiday spirit here today. Now outside, there's a bigger geyser, but there's a little like kind of mini geyser in here, and they've got this bridge inside the lobby, and they've even decorated the bridge with lights and little bits of nature and theming that are so pretty. Let's go walk around outside and maybe get some food too. I know that sometime over the past few months they updated the menu at Territory Lounge. It was fairly recently, but I haven't been out since they did that. So let's see, maybe it's open and maybe we can try something. All right, it's not quite four yet, but I wanna go outside because on the hour, every hour, the geyser should erupt. So I figure we pop outside, watch the geyser erupt, hopefully if everything cooperates, come back in and maybe we can have a little food or drink at Territory Lounge and who knows what else. I was lucky enough to stay here once at the Copper Creek DVC Lodge, which is this building here, and I stayed in one of these rooms up here. It was one of the best memories ever. Hopefully I can do that again one day with Sam. But for now, let's go check out that geyser. One of my favorite things about this resort is these walkways. You can explore the beautiful nature and Bay Lake. You can get the boats that will take you to the parks, next door, campgrounds. Geyser Point is a lovely place to eat back here too. And here we go. Now this should be erupting within the next few minutes. They call it Fire Rock Geyser and it's modeled after Old Faithful in Yellowstone National Park. Just like this resort is partly modeled on Old Faithful Inn at Yellowstone. So we'll just wait a few minutes and uh, watch it go off, hopefully. Oh, there it is. There it goes. It begins. So it was actually a little bit before the hour. Let me pick this up. So this geyser erupts, according to what I read, 120 feet. Let me try to get a better vantage point. I gotta get further back because it goes up so high. Yeah. So cool. And you can see there's like gusts of uh, water everywhere. Oh wow. Wow. <laughs> water spraying everywhere. We're all getting a little sprinkled, <laughs> but it's worth it. Wow. Oh my gosh, it just keeps going. <laughs> what time is it right now? It's not even four yet, so this explains why I've sometimes missed it, because I've been told it's on the hour, but this started about five minutes before the hour. So just a heads up, be here before the hour. Night! Bravo. There's a beautiful swampy Florida nature back here. Very reminiscent of the Everglades. And I love it because I grew up in Florida. And even though they did landscape this resort to fit in with the Pacific Northwest theme, it's also very, very Florida. The Spanish moss, the trees, the swampiness. So they paid tribute to both. And then of course out here is Disney's Bay Lake, 
which is beautiful, and the Bay Lake resorts like this one, Grand Floridian, Polynesian, and Contemporary resorts are the closest to Magic Kingdom. Let's go back inside and see if we can get into Territory Lounge. I don't know if we can. Territory Lounge is just that, it's a lounge. And it recently, oh my gosh, it's so cozy in here. So I got in. This can get really crowded, but I just lucked out right when they opened. And here's the menu. So it's within the last month or so that they updated the menu. Ooh, wow. I ordered one of the specialty drinks here and it already smells so good. This is a s'more old fashioned. It's Elijah Craig 12 year Kentucky straight bourbon with a toasted marshmallow and chocolate bitters. So you can see it's like a s'more. It's got roasted marshmallows in there that they told me they just toasted fresh. It smells like chocolate. It smells like marshmallows. I'm so excited to try this. Old fashioned isn't generally my drink of choice because it's usually a strong cocktail, a very, very nice cocktail. A, a cocktail that cocktail drinkers like, if you will. But this one is so delicious. It's sweet, but it's not overly sweet. It is a real cocktail. It's got that strong taste, but it's also really sweet. You can taste that, like a cloud of marshmallows in there. It's like the smell of the chocolate and the marshmallow just it hits you right away. They actually made mine a little extra sweet for me so you can let them know if you want it a little extra sweet or you want it less sweet i know that everybody has different tastes with these things but this is delicious it's definitely a sipper just like an old-fashioned is it tastes like marshmallow like the marshmallow is is what hits you the strongest mm. i'm definitely gonna eat those marshmallows too i am so gonna eat these the bottom of the marshmallows are like soaking in the drink. That's a good one. I'm sipping, but I'm taking pretty big sips because it's just sweet enough for someone like me who tends to like sweeter drinks to be able to uh, to house this, to devour this. A light jazzy piano rendition of Christmas Time is Here is playing. The little flakes of toasted marshmallow are starting to float around in the cup because of me playing with them, really. But uh, they taste really good. They add to the smoky flavor, but still keeping it really sweet and nice. I didn't expect to be having a feast today, but here we are. I had to try the artisanal cheese and charcuterie, and we'll hear what all of that is in just a moment. And also the bacon on a wire, which is candied bacon with deviled eggs and bourbon drizzle, but so much more than that. So let's hear what all of this is. So we have our charcuterie board. Um, we have capicola. Bursola, that's a B, salami, prosciutto, burrata, repinier, and it's a pasteurized cow's milk. We have beehive, sea hive, it's a sweet and honey's cow's milk. Then we have an aged blue cheese. Wow, there's so much. <laughs> Our little gherkin pickles, honey off the comb, and it's a little, um, little bit chewy. Ooh, pickled cauliflower, grapes, and then lavash. Awesome. Bacon on a wire, this looks beautiful. Yes. So for three days, we um, marinate that in a Rough Rider bourbon. Wow. Then we do maple syrup, brown sugar, salt, pepper, and then a Disney spice. Uh, starting from the right, we have a candied salmon, beef jerky made in-house, and then a shrimp tempura. Same in the back, we have a Rough Rider bourbon glaze, sweet enough that you want to save it and put it on your Mickey Waffles. <laughs> nice. Thank you, this You're is welcome. lovely. That's awesome, and look at the presentation. It's like cool, hip, and modern, but also rustic. It reminds you of like a meat cellar where they're drying and curing meats for the winter. Got a little plate here. I don't know what to try first, but uh, let's try this, I guess. We'll just go in order. Let's try some nice cheese here too. This meat's a little spicy. Just a tiny hint of spice, just a little tiny kick, but nothing major. Very delicious, very savory. You gotta, gotta have some cheese then, you know, mix it with. It's rich, creamy, but it like crumbles apart. That is good. So fresh. Let's try some honey. This is so luxurious. Light and crisp. 
crackers. This is probably the nicest charcuterie and cheese board I've seen on property, on Disney property. It's just so cool and fun. And there's two pieces of everything at least, so you can easily share this. I can't believe I get this all to myself today. <laughs> Sam's missing out. He didn't come today. The cheese and the honey go so well together. The like sweet and then the creamy cheese. That is a beautiful combo. This is so not what I expected and so much better than I expected. Besides the bacon, the little deviled eggs each come with their own thing. This is got a shrimp. I think I said it was a shrimp. Let me try it. it tastes like calamari. It's really good. Are you kidding me? That is so sweet. That is, this would be perfect for breakfast, even though this lounge is only open for the afternoon for like dinner, but it's so sweet. It's so thick. It's so good. Like the edges, the way they're cooked. Oh my gosh. Each of these pieces is huge. Like the bourbon glaze is out of hand. It really would taste good on waffles. You can taste the bourbon in there. It's so sweet. Like it doesn't need it, but it's a thousand times better with it. Like this isn't that, you know, little thin cheap bacon that are sometimes used in these kind of dishes. These are like thick meaty bacon pieces cooked to perfection. This is a truly surprising dish here. The lounge is generally a place where people hang out and have a drink or an appetizer like before while they're waiting for their dining reservation. But I would say you could come here and have a full dinner out of this. They also have flatbreads on, on its own really. The blue cheese is so good. I love blue cheese. And this one's like just tangy enough and just creamy enough. It has such a strong and delicious flavor, which I love. Everything is delectable. I'm just picking through all of this a little bit at a time, working through it, and this is like, this is a feast. Fitting in with the nature and the Pacific Northwest theme, Territory Lounge has a lot of like, you know, early territory, Western United States feeling, but I really feel like they have elevated the dining here to fine dining with these new menu items, and there's even more than this that I wanna come back to try. But this has defeated me. I think I've eaten as much as I can, so I'm going to ask for a box and take this home to Sam so that when he comes to pick me up, he's gonna have a little surprise, a few deviled eggs, a little bit of cheese, one piece of bacon, because I ate the other two, and some, you know, some yummies for him. Some fruit and pickles and cheese. I don't know how I'm gonna take the honey, but we'll see. And then we'll keep exploring. So yeah, uh, when Sam comes to pick me up, he's gonna have a little surprise for him, a little mini feast. Just little bits of everything, and I did get a little container for the honey and the sauce too. I'm so excited to surprise him, he's gonna love it. All done in there, and it was so lovely. It's such a great warm atmosphere. A lot of folks are chilling in there while they're waiting for their reservation at Storybook Dining or any of the other restaurants here. But some folks, again, just come in to have their dinner and have, you can have a full meal in here from all of that. It's just, it was really good. And also I gotta say, great service. And now that I've finished my delicious dinner, my little feast, I figured let's go outside because it's getting darker and the lights are getting lit up. I wanna walk around and look at all the decorations with the lights lit up. I always love looking at this Disney totem pole. But they have some really cool and unique gifts here in the Wilderness Lodge Mercantile, so let's take a look. <gasps> Ooh, so pretty, and this is a much more chill way to shop for specialty and holiday items in the resort gift shops. A Wilderness Lodge limited edition holiday pin. <gasps> They've got beautiful stockings. I actually haven't seen these stockings. Really, really pretty. So of course the shop is built like a long cabin. It's all rustic. And they have their own special decor just for this shop and just for this resort. Look at this snowman. He's like carved out of a tree. That's a really cool mirror. Here's another one I haven't seen. I wrapped it myself. That's cute. One more thing I haven't seen anywhere else is a little stocking with Chippendale plushies in it. And you can also put more, add more to it. Chippendale plush stocking. 
Let's go explore outside. Gotta hop through the cave here and pop down and see what we can see. Now, if you are planning on spending Thanksgiving at one of the resorts, they will let you know what activities and dining and special things they have. Here's what's going on here. It looks like they've kept it really natural looking, really simple out here by the cabins. They've decorated the light poles. And because you're at Wilderness Lodge, you're gonna see little touches of wilderness everywhere, like little animal prints in the sidewalk. I walked out here to Bay Lake. And this is a great spot to watch the nighttime electrical water pageant, which is one of my favorite things to see, but that's still not for quite a few hours. So we probably won't be here when that happens tonight, but I've shown what the water pageant looks like from here at Wilderness Lodge and from Fort Wilderness campgrounds. Many times in the past, you can check out my past videos on Fort Wilderness and Wilderness Lodge. Actually, I will link one in the pinned comment just in case, or even if you have seen it, if you want to see it again, I don't blame you. <laughs> it's just a little windy. I feel a little sprinkle of rain coming. Okay. Oh my gosh, the fire, are fireworks happening? It's too early for that. What on earth was that? It's only not even six o'clock. I'm not sure what that was. But anyway, if you can see up here, that is not snow because this is Florida. That is rain, it's starting to rain. Let's go inside. Let's take a look at the lobby from the outside though inspired by the great lodges of the Pacific Northwest and the West in general, those big nature lodges of a certain era, and it definitely captures that feeling. Here's a little bit of a closer look at some of the ornaments on the tree. At least the ones that are at eye level <laughs> that I can see. <laughs> They've added a family of deer and some trees up here by the entrance too. Let's go back up to the second floor just to uh, do a little something. Let me try to scope out and see if there's any open spots. I found a little nook all to myself where I can eat this gingerbread cookie or at least some of it. I'll save half for Sam. Got it, let's try a piece of this Christmas tree, gingerbread Christmas tree cookie. Mm. Somewhere between the crunchy gingerbread and the soft chewy gingerbread, and it's a nice balance between the two. I still prefer the soft chewy, but it's thick and it's good. It's got really nice spicing to it, and I like it, and I like the frosting, the Christmas tree frosting on it too. I don't know if they fell off or it's just meant to be like a little extra something, but there's snowflake sprinkles all over the bag, so I ate some of those too, and they're good too. All right, hold on, because update, as I've been eating more of this cookie, it's really, really good. It is just the right balance of crunchy and chewy, but the flavor in there, the ginger flavor, that like nutmeg, cinnamon, that that mix of holiday flavors that's like tail as old as time. It's, it's really, really actually up there in my gingerbread ranking. So I gotta say, the more I eat of this, the more delicious it becomes. Well, people are having a great time. Fires are raging at all the fireplaces. Photo pass photographers are taking lovely family photos. Dinner and drinks are being had at the restaurants and lounges. People are just enjoying the holiday spirit and it's just wonderful to be able to be here to see it and share it. Like just seeing a crackling fireplace, mm, nothing gets me in the spirit like that. Every little corner of the resort is decorated and full of festive holiday cheer in wilderness style, of course, with little birds and flowers and twigs and branches, pine cones, berries, lanterns. Just beautiful. See you next time, Wilderness Lodge Tree. <sighs> it 
it's always such a nice time to be here at Disney's Wilderness Lodge Resort. Now this is Thanksgiving week, so I wanna say happy Thanksgiving to anyone who celebrates out there. I hope you're doing whatever makes you happy. As far as us, we're gonna be going to Miami to visit my parents and have a delicious Thanksgiving with them. They make a great spread, and of course, I'm really excited to see them. And then I'll be back, and then we have so many special things planned for this holiday season, some of which I've talked about, and some of which I haven't. <laughs> so I am gonna be doing quite a bit of packing for different climates <laughs> over the next few weeks. And I'm very excited to take you along with us. So please stay tuned for all the cool travel and things we're gonna be doing over the holiday season. And of course I have exciting plans into the new year all ready i can't believe it um but this year has been full of road trips and travels so again if you've missed any of that if you've missed any of the travels from this year we have been all over we have been to theme parks attractions roadside attractions cities uh not just theme parks but all sorts of cool travel destinations all over the place um we went to formula one in austin texas we went to new orleans we went to Ohio, a bunch of places. So if you missed any of that, please check back on my 2022 road trip playlist and join us for some of those adventures as we gear up for the holidays and the new year and so many exciting things to come. I have my leftovers to give to Sam back there and I'll say, here you go, some meat and some cheese for you. And I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. I came out to see the beautiful tree in the lobby of Disney's Wilderness Lodge Resort. It's a famous tree, a beautiful tree. The decorations here are beloved by all. So it made me very happy to see them and do this as my kind of like little Disney thing before heading back to Miami for Thanksgiving and then heading on a trip and then another trip and <laughs> all of that. So I just wanna thank you all once again for joining me, send you all a ton of love. I'll see you for the next video and until then, as always, stay enthused, bye.